ज सोरी नामनोर जत श्रुति पद श्रुति पद यो स्वयं यस्माग्राम विभाग वर्णरचना जाति क्रम तमुर जगदे वंदे नादतनो तमुर जगत गे मुदे शौकद Namaskar Welcome to the Tele Enhance Learning Appreciation Course for Hindustani Classical Music with reference to Dhrupad or Dhruvapada as we all know Dhrupad is a very vast discipline with all the ancient wisdom supporting the genre and we also know that dhrupad is not just a musical genre supporting suralay and raga but it's a complete system of indian classical music with all the complexities peculiarities revealing the structure style substance the living context the ideology and to a point where we immerse into the spirituality of this music i'll very briefly spell out some of the characteristics defining and describing dhrupad dhrupad the diminutive of dhruvapada is both a musical and a lyrical tradition it is believed to be the oldest purest most revered musical genre of hindustani classical music in form and content and also as a complete system and ideology of indian music dhruvapad is one of the several distinct styles of indian classical vocal music performed today in north india dhrupad is supposed to be the oldest of these styles older than the better known khyal and thumri and it has contributed much 
to the development of the younger vocal styles and to the parallel traditions of North Indian instrumental music. Historically, it forms a link with the music of medieval and pre-medieval times and with the musical forms of South Asia. Thus, to understand the history of musical art in South Asia and its present practice, it is necessary to understand Dhrupad. It is believed that during the period of Raja Man Singh Tomar of Gwalior in the 16th century, Dhruvapada as a genre got formulated taking musical and lyrical elements from the system of Pravandhagana and the composers Vagyakara composing Dhrupad lyrics in Madhya Bhasha of that region. Dhruvapada comprises of two value-loaded terms, Dhruva and Pada, suggesting the tonal rhythmic syllabic content and musical lyrical semiotics in depicting the three-tiered Alab Dhrupad Laikari performance as a composite whole. Dhruva in Dhruvapada is something fixed, constant. It implies permanence. It also is the North Star fixed in the sky, the destination and the goal. It is also a complete unbroken unit of the music depicting inherence, samavaya and the universality of sound in realizing the absolute. It is also specifically the refrain which we call Mukra today. That's also the Dhruva. So it's the Mukra of the song, which is also known as Dhruva. It also gives us the philosophy of profound and integrated classicism that all art music is aspiring for in the musical creation, in all the aspects that we find today. It also paves the way for a better understanding and sharing of concepts with other genres of music as a subsystem. In substance and spirit, Dhrupad has been barely secular and more a profound and mystical tradition in experiencing the creative excellence of music for self-realization as Nadi Yoga and also for seeking liberation, moksha and also absolute joy, the Brahmananda. Truly, the profound and ineffable Marga Sangeet of the current era. Dhrupad is a system of Indian classical music that connects the Vedic Agama syncretism with the later secular traditions. It also bridges the schism of the textual Shastra and the oral Prayoga traditions that some scholars and musicians refrain from mediating upon them. Finally, Dhrupad is not just exploring a specific style of music, but a musical involution and an eternal journey of delving deeply into the hidden sounds, both for the musician and the listener, by experiencing the vastness of the raga and connecting to meaningful silence for the sake of eternal bliss. Now, I'll illustrate very briefly how a Dhrupad 
performance sounds like. I'll be reciting Rag Lalit, a brief alap in Chartal. The song depicts the value of music
Uh...